In the previous video, we showed you how to manually install DNN. And so we can see we still have that website that we just installed in the previous video. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to upgrade DNN. Now, before you upgrade DNN, you definitely want to take a moment to review and see if there's any third-party extensions that you might have installed and upgrade those first. You'll wanna do that first and foremost, uh, of course, after taking a backup. So a backup would consist of making a copy of your website folder. So you might want to like use uh, a zip tool to do that, as well as a backup of your database. So you'd wanna do those first. Now we're going to assume in this video you've already done a backup of DNN and you've already installed and updated all of the ex third party extensions you have. Now the backup is very important because you, if anything goes wrong or you make a mistake or anything like that, uh, you'll be able to restore the site back to its original working condition. The, uh, upgrading the extensions will ensure that not only do you have the most recent updates for those extensions, but in uh, the event that there are any compatibility issues, you can avoid those ahead of time by installing those extensions to allow the upgrade to occur uh, successfully. One more thing about extensions. So if you have any extensions that say they're not in use and you know they're not a core extension, it's generally a good idea to uninstall them and delete their files when you uninstall uh, to ensure that there's no issues with it. So I'm not gonna do that now, but I'm going to show you like, the Razor host, uh, what I mean by that is you choose the, the delete icon and then choose delete files and then choose to delete it. Uh, again, if you know you don't need it and you don't need any of the data that is associated with it. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is uh, what we need to do to uh, upgrade DNN. So what you want to um, do is get the upgrade package for the version that you want to upgrade to. So here's version 980, just came out five days ago and you'll find the packages for install, upgrade, and deploy at the bottom of the re release notes. So we don't want to do the install package. If you do that and apply it in an accident, you'll actually uh, break your website. Uh, so uh, be sure to grab the correct package. So I'm gonna grab the upgrade package. It's downloading and it's done. So I'm going to go back to downloads. Here's my upgrade. And again, like the previous videos, I'm going to unblock that and now I have it available to me. So I'm gonna use the uh, Windows extraction tool. And so now we have our website here. If this is an environment that could be hit, um, at this point you might want to implement uh, a method for people not being able to get to it. Uh, so for example, uh, you might want to add an app offline file. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. So just real quick, I'm going to uh, create a new file. So I'm gonna do a text document. I'm gonna call this app underscore offline and htm. And so yes, I want to change the file extension and then I want to edit this file. So let's go ahead and open with notepad. I'm gonna paste in some code and close and save. Now, if I go back to the site and refresh or reload, I have a uh, message letting people know that the website is offline, but it's intentional and will be right back. And this could also sometimes prevent uh, file locking uh, issues. But if you're just doing this in your local dev environment, that's a, a step that's not necessary. So I'm going to, so all we have to do in order to upgrade, now we talked about some of the prerequisites and things you might wanna do beforehand, is we just grab uh, all the files from the upgrade package and we extract them into the root of the site that needs to be upgraded. So I'm going to just grab all these, add them to the folder and wait for the extraction to complete. At some point it's gonna ask if you wanna replace the files uh, in the location and you do. So we want to re uh, replace all of the files and then it'll continue and uh, end up at the end. And we're nearly done. And there we go. So everything's in place. Um, the next step that I generally do, uh, especially in server environments, is I'll um, want to explicitly reset the permissions. Uh, so that way, uh, you know, we avoid any kind of delays with uh, permission propagation to any new files. So we go to properties for the folder, then security, go to advanced, and then choose the replace all child object permissions, and then click OK. 
and that'll force the permissions across all the files. Now, for some of these, you'll run into uh, some an occasion. You, you might run into some uh, additional permission issues. We can just skip all those. So in these cases, the, those files are actually locked. All right. Now from here, we can just view our website, but uh, we can either go to it directly once we re-enable it and uh, go through uh, an install uh, upgrade wizard, or we can go directly to uh, the install page that allows the upgrade to execute. So in order to allow us to get to that though, we're first going to have to uh, turn off the app offline. So I generally just put uh, the term backup in front of it because it keeps it near the top of the file system. And uh, so from here, we can either refresh and go to the install wizard or the upgrade wizard, or go directly to the upgrade URL. So here's the upgrade wizard. Uh, so once DNN detects that there's an upgrade available, uh, anybody who tries to view, visit the website will be seeing this view. And so they'd have to log in as a super user. An alternative to make this faster is we can go to install slash install Dot ASPX and uh, execute the upgrade that way, which is generally uh, our preferred approach. So it'll detect the version in the database and the version in the file system, and then begin to upgrade all the components as necessary. So we can see all green success. If anything bad happens, it won't be green and it won't say su success, it'll uh, say error. And then you can go look at the log files to see what happened. But now we can just click here to access our site and the site will reload. And there we go. We can see the site's reloaded and it's at version 9.8.0. That's how easy it is to upgrade DNN. We hope you enjoy. Have a good one.